Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. Joining me today is Sri T.G. Mohandas. We are hoping to make Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. a separate time, a special time for Sri T.G. Mohandas Ji to come share his thoughts on our channel. And today we are going to talk about the Joy Lucas attachment. This was a FEMA violation that took place in 1999. Much water has flown down the Ganga, the Kaveri, the Godavari, every river combined. And I can ima imagine that these kinds of things are now happening a hundredfold. I could be wrong about it. So let's welcome our guest, Sri Mohandas Ji. Namaskaram, sir. How are you? Namaskaram. And welcome to you and uh, your viewers. It's, so uh, before we, before we proceed on... Class apart. Thank you so much, sir. Viewers are a class apart. I'm, I'm, I like to hear that. Thank you so much, sir. And viewers, you are getting a compliment. So enjoy and relax and bask in the popularity, in the sunlight of success here. But more importantly, viewers, there is a Twitter spaces right after this, in about half an hour after this program ends, on fake currency, where you can directly ask questions. Mohandas Ji, if you are still up at the night, please do join. This is a pan world program and Twitter spaces does well at night. So I, I extend you a wholehearted welcome. I've uh, tweeted out the link, so kindly do join. Now, let us take a look at, I'm just going to read the tweet that ED put out. ED conducted searches and attached various movable and immovable assets worth 305 crores of Joy Alukas Varghese, chairman of Joy Alukas India Private Limited, in a case related to Hawala under FEMA 1999. A little bit about this particular case and the general industry, sir. Now, you see, Joy Alukas got an early warning two years back. There was an IT raid in his uh, jewelries and residence, which was like what happened uh, now. Uh, that incident was also downplayed or not reported in the media. Now, uh, I would say that uh, Joy Alucas is uh, not an intelligent man. If he was intelligent, uh, one month ahead, he could have criticized Modi. And when ED attaches, he can cry foul, oh, political vendetta, because I criticize Modi, etc. And the whole uh, political atmosphere in Kerala would have supported him. But the man didn't do that. Instead, you know, uh, last year, there was a Manorama conclave. Manorama Vision is one of the leading channels in Kerala. They uh, conducted a conclave in which uh, Joy, uh, along with uh, Pattaviraman of uh, Kalyan Sils, uh, and one more uh, industrialist, they attended. And uh, the questioner brought up Joey Alucas to speak against uh, Modi. He was insinuating. But still, Joey Alucas kept his calm and said, uh, GST is a good thing to happen. Uh, demonetization was a great thing to be uh, done, etc., etc. Uh, instead, he could have uh, blamed Modi so that uh, he would have got uh, public support and political support, at least in Kerala, presently. Uh, so, I will say that he is not an intelligent man. But uh, leaving that apart, see, uh, always there were uh, controversies and mysteries uh, woven around that family, Haluka's family. They are four brothers, I think. Their uh, youngest brother, Job Alukas, he was doing gold business somewhere in Dubai. And he vanished uh, one day, just disappeared. Nobody knew where he is. And only one newspaper in Kerala, the fourth one, I think, uh, Mangalam Pursu, they reported it as a headline. But afterwards, there is no news, at least not to my knowledge. Nobody knows what happened to Job, uh, J-O-B, Alukas. So Job, I don't know whether he reappeared somewhere in Gulf countries or restarted his business. Nothing is uh, known. But now a video of uh, 
one of aluka's uh, family members is taking rounds in social media uh, that gentleman is obviously he is drunk and he is abusing uh, joy aluka's left and right there are so many mute portions in that video you know they just P, P, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. That, that is am, verbal abuse. Yes. Verbal abuse. Yeah. Um, a lot of verbal abuse. But uh, in short, what he says is that, Joe, you deserve this punishment. You will be going to hell. Jesus will not leave you because uh, you are a cheat. You cheated your youngest brother for around 15 crores. Your um, next brother, some 10 crores. You cheated me for 25 crores. I supported the family. There's that lot of uh, shouting. Uh, this was his, uh, this is his family member. So something is uh, going on around that family for the past at least 10 or uh, 15 years. Everything is not uh, hunky dory. And you know, the property which uh, ED has attached is. 5,000 square feet worth of uh, mansion. Great palace which he has constructed in the heart of uh, Trichur city. Number two, he is uh, owning one acre of uh, agricultural land inside the city. You know, inside the city for 100 square feet, you have to pay one crore now. So take uh, maybe 100 crores or 1,000 crores worth of agricultural land where he, he claims that he is cultivating. Uh, and uh, now ED has uh, attached everything. And I don't know whether the, where the case is going. Now, no media reporting this. No media. Uh, barring few newspapers, nobody reported. No major channels reported. Uh, meanwhile, uh, it was so when the great uh, K.P. Yohanan was uh, raided by income tax department one year back. You know, 6,000 crores were cash was confiscated uh, from his premise. And no newspaper reported it. No newspaper. Now, Joy Alucas uh, everyone says that, no, he is uh, giving advertisement, etc. But uh, I made a personal study. Joe Alucas doesn't give any that way, big advertisement. In fact, no jewelry maker in Kerala is giving big advertisements. Those days are over. Now they pick and choose certain magazines uh, in uh, which are subscribed by filthy rich people inside those magazines only they advertise they don't advertise for uh, all and sundry like me and you because uh, we, don't, we, are, we are not going to subscribe to their advertisement and going to their uh, place we are not swayed by advertisement they know it very well so they look for very rich people and uh, they have a, their own clientele who telephone them regularly asking them if a new thing has come from uh, Tribhuvan Das Bhimji Saveri from Mumbai, they will say, ah, new design has come. You can uh, bring the old design and exchange it. And they take some 30% cut on that. But this lady doesn't care because she is uh, flush with funds. This is the way Kerala market is operating. And for middle class and below, there is a secondary market. These, uh, these type of uh, shops, you will not see in Kochi city. You come to our western part of Kochi, you will see small, small jewelries. You will not see it in uh, Trichur city. But go out of Trichur, you will see plenty of jewelries. Only equal by restaurants. Throughout Kerala, I don't know what is happening in Kerala. I have traveled extensively in Tamil Nadu through village roads. I have not seen this type of jewelry uh, there. They also purchase gold, enough gold, but uh, you will not see jewelries. I have traveled uh, crisscross uh, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra, Assam. You name the state, I have gone there. 
even to the villages nowhere you will see this much uh, this many jewelries here uh, in my small i'm on a remote part of kochi city there are eight jewelries within a span of 1 km just 1 km eight jewelries you have to walk for 15 uh, minutes and you will meet the uh, eight uh, jewelers they make jewelry they sell jewelry they exchange jewelry i don't know whatever they are but what are all being done and who supplies this gold you know the biggest smuggling is taking place in kerala gold smuggling i don't know uh, if i can take a detour why nirmala sir please please do please do please do i i fail to understand why nirmala sitaraman is keeping the taxes very high so that uh, gold smuggling is lucrative you know even uh, i and you will be tempted to smuggle it is a temptation of cash you know you invest 1 uh, crore in the morning and you get 1.2 crores in the evening a flight from dubai lands the materials um, gold is cleared through customs and you get your money back so so many money lenders are working when the gold smuggling case came out the customs people uh, traced the gold where it has gone and who financed it it led them to various finances who said that we don't know what they are doing with our money but morning if we pay 5 crores evening they are giving us 5.2 crores so we don't know and everything is going on trust and faith till date everything has run very smooth so i know that uh, nasir he occasionally calls me and asks for 5 crores i give him 5 crores faithfully he returns by 5.2 crores why should i be worried what is that he is doing with the money this was the counter question posed by this financiers and they cannot be roped in for smuggling or anything because they are financiers they are taking interest so uh, it's not an illegal thing to do and you don't need a registration to um, operate with two or three people in your finance you are just giving it to your friend and taking it back with interest no license is required so nothing can be done but this fact uh, came out the crores and crores were money is being invested by kerala finances in this smuggling market and smuggling is going on maybe around 20% is being caught 80% uh, goes through customs and you know do you think that uh, this smuggling is taking place without the involvement of the customs officials how many people were caught outside the airport by police for smuggling gold how did they uh, escape the customs because customs is in cahoot with these people was well, sometimes some man just like uh, who caught that uh, dubai uh, luggage in trivandrum that uh, swapna uh, swapna issue uh, that diplomatic bag he wanted to open his name was ramaswami in uh, customs everybody called him uh, mad ramaswami because uh, uh, he was not uh, succumbing to any pressure he will not take bribe he will not entertain ladies he will not drink he is unmarried he doesn't have any possessions so he doesn't care for anything and ramaswami was the shift in charge at that time and he caught this and created an issue out of that if instead of ramaswami if it was a krishna swami this smuggling would have gone unnoticed you don't know there are several krishna swamis narasimha swamis konnu swamis <laughs> oh are there so customs are working in tandem with this uh, smugglers and once in a while they'll catch one when their term fails that is why from the starting itself i was telling that see who is uh, inquiring into this case the very customs inspector who is uh, in uh, collaboration with smugglers and you cannot transfer a custom in inspector at your will because they have a strong very strong trade union this is all fact of life which uh, when i started inquiring uh, six 
customs officers, retired customs officers, spoke to me personally because uh, in my TV debate, I said uh, customs also is involved. You have to remove all the customs officers along with the lower staff and put fresh people and do the investigation. Otherwise, there is uh, no point in conducting the investigation. And you see where it has reached now? Nowhere. In spite of Swapna giving a CRPC 164 statement to the magistrate, in spite of she disclosing that I had a direct personal contact with the chief minister, when we were speaking, nobody was there. We spoke privately. All these things she gives in writing. She releases WhatsApp chat. ED releases WhatsApp chat. But the case is still dragging. Only one Shivashankar is being frequently arrested. I don't know. Uh, ED and customs feel happy about uh, or comfortable with him. So they are arresting him in between. This is the drama which is going on. The point which I was making that smuggling has become so lucrative that you have to reduce the attraction of uh, smuggling for which you have to reduce the uh, customs duty. Which is a basic thing, you know, when uh, I think Narasim Rao or Vajpayee floated this idea, they reduced the customs duty. They said a citizen can bring up to 5 kg worth of gold by paying 2% tax. Beyond that, it will be 30% something. And the ornaments which you are uh, wearing on your body are not taxable. Because they understood that. Indians are mad about gold. Accept that fact. It is built in in our culture. We love gold. We like gold. We are holding gold. We are hoarding gold. All uh, it's happening. It's a family value uh, in our system. That at least you should have this much uh, worth of gold. You cannot change the family system by law or uh, taxes. They reduce the taxes. And uh, naturally, the uh, smuggling also came down because if you smuggle, what is that you are going to get? Hardly 2%. Are so rupya dal ke, ek so do rupya kon lega, itna bada kya hai, do rupya ke liye kon marega. So uh, uh, the smuggling practically vanished during uh, their period, including Manmohan Singh's period. But after when uh, uh, Arun Jaitley came, the taxes and duties were increased. Nirmala Sitaraman further increased. I think in this budget also she increased uh, duty. You increase duty, you will uh, convert every individual into a criminal. Now the income tax payable, if it is within the limit, all honest people will pay it and forget about that. But if it is an unreasonable tax, every honest man will also evade that somehow. And then put uh, customs and income tax people behind it. He is an honest man. He is unable to pay. That is why he is running around. And you put police and income tax behind him. Make 140 crores of people criminals. Convert them into criminals. It is uh, famously said that Mahatma Gandhi could afford to be honest because uh, he need not have to file the income tax returns. Otherwise, even he would have been lying. <laughs> joke that people used to say. That is our tax structure. It is tax terrorism. So, one said there have to be positive action on the uh, duties. And this uh, policing, policing action very sincerely. Then only we can stop this. But having said that, who is supplying gold to all these jewelries in Kerala? At least 50% of that is smuggled gold. I don't know the method by which they are uh, managing it. But, you know, the authorized import you take by these uh, jewel jewelers who are making. Generally, uh, Kerala jewelries, they uh, bring uh, jewelry from Mumbai. Um, uh, and making is, in fact, done in Mumbai. Very few people have this making facility. All other people are traders, purely traders. 
so uh, but there are manufacturers also jewelry manufacturers from where do they get this gold and how this exchange is being done and even today i am telling you you can purchase gold without a bill in ernakulam kochi city they will ask you should you need a bill or not you say no i don't want bill they will give you without gst now i have seen so many people saying now see tax evasion is impossible because gst has come are kya i don't understand previously it was state tax now it is central tax if evasion is evasion if state tax could be evaded central tax also can be evaded i don't know no it is a software lock you can be traced this that software is all the more possible to manipulate than um, hand cash is it not previously it was difficult to deposit your money in the bank it was difficult to withdraw also now everything is digital and everything is manipulable because it is digital you change one digit you can just a click uh, you are uh, from your bank it will come to my bank no risk involved so this is possible in the digital age unless your software is so strong but we are, we have seen so many software is being hacked by smart fellows so uh, don't tell me that uh, since gst has come uh, it is not possible to evade tax it is possible to evade tax and people are doing it you go to your restaurant a sada restaurant what happens you eat one masala dosa and coffee the waiter will uh, shout 60 rupees you pay 60 rupees at the counter and you are walking out that system is still in functioning in uh, kochi kerala chennai everywhere everywhere it is functioning where where is the gst is going i don't know oh gst has come everybody i don't know people uh, uh, blindly believe that merely because narendra modi has become pm he is an honest man the whole system has become honest how can you be so naive and gullible jo chor hai wo chor hi hai wo nahi badle hain bhale modi aane do ya gadkari aane do wo badalte nahi hain isliye aapne kitne logon ko pakda hai no did you find a single ias officer in uh, central secretariat who is corrupt that means every badi was sab doot se dhule hue the kya nahi hai na so jo this type of stories are being circulated in uh, twitter facebook uh, insta everywhere that uh, ever since modi has taken over everything is hunky dory which is not true which is not the first man who knows this is uh, narendra modi himself he knows that this is not good that is why all these raids and it raids everything is taking place though belatedly at least something is being done or at least people have a feeling that today or tomorrow this fellow will be caught ye to zarur hai so uh, like what gandhi ji said uh, see you have to implement a law, not only implement a law you have to convince people that law is being implemented you have to demonstrate that so i hope this type of uh, raid or ed attachment etc is a demonstration of rule of law which gives relief to honest citizens like us uh, but then uh, ed you know ed functions under pmla act now pmla act uh, was challenged in supreme court by congress etc and they failed every section of pmla act was upheld by supreme court now it is uh, water tight nobody is there to challenge but uh, there are still problems you need elaborate documentation uh, under pmla act uh, a man saying something or his uh, deposition before the court does not have much evidentiary value as far as pmla cases are concerned because you will be driven by several uh, forces uh, but documents speak for themselves in legal terms they call it uh, rest rest its a locutor because the incident speak for itself so the document will speak for itself therefore lot of documents are to be collected as evidence 
and lot of documentation is to be prepared to submit it to the court so uh, that is why you know people say oh it is conviction rate is low etc it is true well, conviction rate would be low it is very difficult to convict somebody under uh, pmla unless the investigators are smart enough to present everything in front of the court in an organized manner plugging all uh, loopholes that is why ed's conviction rate is less and cbi's conviction rate is more because cbi is more involved in corruption cases wherein money trail is very easy uh, number 2 they uh, inquire into uh, this uh, murder cases etc so it is comparatively easy not a, uh, not like the pmla act but pmla has its, its own benefits also uh, so uh, working under pmla framework of pmla is uh, very difficult for the enforcement uh, people as well as the victims or accused i uh, they must not be called victims they are accused so uh, both side it is uh, a tough fight and for the court also breaking its head is a very difficult job that is why the convictions are low but and therefore it is all the more required that the government should reduce the customs duty over the gold immediately forthwith otherwise more and more people up phansi chadao kisi ko still he will be tempted because the imagine the money you are getting if you are not caught i am getting 20 lakhs in 8 hours i want do 3 lakh de do custom wale ko and you know custom wale will get uh, 10 people like me so he is getting paid every day 10 uh, 10 lakhs police gets their share so uh, everybody is happy i am also happy this is what is happening you reduce the margin so that the amount will be 20000 उसमें क्या किसको किसको डिवाइड करें इसको अरे छोड़ दो भैया दूसरा काम देखो दिस विल हैपन एंड दिस हैज हैपन ड्यूरिंग वाजपेयी इज रिजीम एंड मनमोहन सिंह जी आई डोंट नो व्हाई निर्मला सीतारामन इज कंडक्टिंग दिस टैक्स टेररिज्म आई विल नॉट से इट इज डेलिबरेट शी मे बी हैविंग सम ग्रैंड आईडिया वेदर सम ग्रीन शूट्स विल कम अप एंड डू वंडर्स आई डोंट नो people develop people develop pangs of conscience and say no 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 from this day forward we will pay all taxes usually it doesn't happen that way sir uh, finish your thought i have a few questions yeah i, I think i have finished up with see this uh, aluka's family in short they were riddled with uh, mysteries and controversies for at least for the past 15 years and what we have seen uh, now is uh, only part of the problem i think there are much more uh, to be unearthed uh, in alukas family not only really joy alukas there are three or four brothers i think uh, ed may be knowing better it was uh, quite unusual for ed to release give a press release on this issue generally ed doesn't do that because uh, strictly going in the legal sense there is no public interest in this a private party who evaded tax he has been uh, raided uh, and his house is attached that's all the amount is rather big 305 crores it is nothing compared to what chidambaram or uh, <laughs> era uh, era that did at that time so not a big amount for uh, ed or government of india but why should they release a, uh, give a press release that is because no media has touched this and people are not aware ed is also uh, ed want to ensure that law is uh, live in this country this country is being run by the rule of law this is uh, in summary i would uh, say about the incident thank you uh, somebody has made a very astute observation that the main purpose of taxing is to track the movement please note that black gold is more valuable than white gold um you are not going to be tracking if the customs doesn't catch it while it's coming in how are you going to track it because this is a network that is very well spread out this is a very well if, uh, oiled network and and i am hearing now mohandas ji that gold is not even the ornaments are not even made in mumbai anymore they are being made in hong kong 
they have machines now. You just the design, you put it, and it puts gold ingot in. The this thing comes out. So there there are all sorts of things going on. So clearly there is a huge market for gold, gold jewelry. Tribhuvan Das Jewelry is one of the first, the cutting edge uh, design guys. I, I've seen some of the stuff. They they can make magic out of really thin gold. Gold is malleable and ductile, so it allows itself to be done with this. Of course, these are all 22 karat. 18 karat also is becoming normal. See, um, no one has a couple of questions for you. This is from my observations in the market. Coimbatore is one of the biggest consumers of gold. What you said about Kochi having a lot of gold shops, you can see several Joy Alukas, Joss Alukas, J-O-S Alukas. Then there is Malabar. There is a whole bunch of shops. And all these things have sprung up recently, even not just in the main streets, but also in the smaller suburban neighborhoods also, you are finding all these jewelry shops, grand, big shops and things, and so on and so forth. So clearly, they are pushing gold like mad. As for the money, where the money has come to get the gold, my take, sir, is that India has got a little bit of better control over its fake currency. Therefore, that fake currency market has now slowly morphed into gold smuggling and the only thing they needed to take care of was customs officials. First question to you. I heard that about 100 customs officers got transferred out of Kerala. Is it not true? I don't think so. I have no information. Maybe one or two were transferred and uh, they transferred the customs commissioner uh, most efficient, Amit Kumar. He was the man who was giving a press release every alternate day. He used to inform public what is happening in the gold smuggling case. And he was removed, saying that his tenure in Kerala is over, as if extending the tenure is a big thing. Anyway, he was removed that I know. I don't know whether uh, lower level people were removed, because when I spoke to the retired uh, customs officers, they said that it's very difficult to remove lower rank people, because they have a very strong uh, trade union. Hmm. Now, the, the other interesting thing I've heard is that, so gold is coming in in ingot form, you know, bars. And uh, either, it, well, it comes in some form sometimes, and then it gets made into an ingot, because ingot is something that people have uh, a relational value. They can relate to it. They can put it. They may have machines that can find the purity of gold and so on. The transfer exchange Somebody brings, say, say a jeweler in Coimbatore wants some gold. The way they do it is they say, okay, we'll supply you the gold in ingot, but you have to pay us in 2,000 rupee notes. 2,000 rupee notes. That's the one place where 2,000 rupee notes is in huge circulation, Mohandasji. Have you heard about this? Uh, I have no first hand knowledge about this phenomenon, but. Uh... As far as 2,000 uh, rupee note is concerned, that has slowly vanished from uh, Kerala. You will, you and I will not see it. That's exactly right. You and I will not see it anymore. Yes. Ah, oh, yeah. That is. Uh, it's a general feeling that uh, Reserve Bank of India is slowly withdrawing uh, the 2,000 note because practically it is very difficult to handle 2,000 notes for honest people. Uh, I don't know whether dishonest people are hoarding it uh, for other purpose. That could be true. But I was under the impression that uh, RBI is very slowly withdrawing those notes because now you go to any ATM or bank uh, for that matter, you will not get anything more than 500 rupee note. 500 is the uh, minimum currency. 2000, once in a while, if you go to Dhanalakshmi Bank uh, or some bank, you may get... Uh, 2000 rupee note. Otherwise, no. Canada Bank, State Bank of India, uh, Union Bank, uh, everybody gives you 500 rupee note. 200 rupees, I have not noticed. But uh, uh, I would like to add uh, one thing to your previous statement. Yeah. See, in uh, Coimbatore, there are uh, big jewelries. I understand. But uh, how many jewelries between Coimbatore and Tirupur? Coimbatore and Palladam? Coimbatore and Palani? How many jewelries are there? That is where Kerala is different from Tamil Nadu. Yes. It's and not much. Tamil Nadu, it is see, not much. all Kerala jewelries have gone to Tamil Nadu. You will not see any Tamil Nadu jewelry in Kerala. 
show me one bumidi bangaru chetti and sons in kerala no now pothis have started i think uh, they are going to come in kerala in a big way pothis uh, jewelry but uh, no other jewelry maybe there are some traditional uh, tamil people who are residents of uh, in border uh, uh, areas of kerala they may be having one or two jewelries otherwise famous jewelries of tamil nadu they are not uh, having any branch whatsoever in kerala but every kerala jewelry kalyan jewelers joy alukas bimas everybody has a showroom outside kerala in coimbatore in salem in erode in chennai in trichy in mumbai in delhi delhi may be one or two what is this happening how can we kerala could be is the hub of every gold related activity in india are bhai kya ho raha hai there is no industry nothing why money is being uh, 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 spent on uh, gold only in kerala why kerala ports are so porous that every smuggling take place in kerala there is international airport in mumbai international in hyderabad international in bangalore international in delhi everywhere you have international airport i think even nagpur is international airport but waha kabhi to ek aad smuggling hota hai ye you look at kerala every day they are every day uh, there is an incident either in calicut or in kochi or in trivandrum yahan gol lagaya hai wahan lagaya hai kaan ke andar dala hai ped ke andar dala hai and the places which you cannot uh, tell openly every place is filled with uh, gold ye kya ho raha hai and what type of gold you know they bring liquid gold in new technology they have invented liquid gold like drinking water bottle they will uh, bring the bottle and that was caught by uh, police not customs customs ko kya ho gaya mujhe pata nahi now more than customs police are catching them outside the airport because outside the airport thugs are there very uh, highly paid protection gangs are there because uh, if they get an information that a smuggler is coming out he will uh, escape the customs but he will es- will not escape the goon standing outside they will chase his car and on the way he will be caught and the gold will be taken by some other party this is called uh, in malayalam they called potical that is uh, exploding or something uh, meaning something like that so these are all the activities which are uh, live news in uh, kerala and uh, joy alukas uh, you know uh, last week there was a big demonstration in jantar mantar by christians think that oh minority is in danger there is problem everywhere etc etc now if uh, joy alukas was intelligent uh, by this time the catholic bishop conference of india would have been releasing a protest statement that minority is in danger look at uh, one of our minority businessman being harassed by modi etc etc but he don't know how to play his political cards well uh, therefore he has landed up in uh, trouble well um, i think there is more to it than meets the eye uh, mohandas ji but let us go back to so discussing some solutions you mentioned that the tax can be reduced yes uh but the core problem is that there is too much money sloshing about in the system in kerala and in tamil nadu if you go through rural areas you will not find jewelry shop the mindset in tamil nadu is if you want to do anything big whether it is medical or purchase they want to go to that city they want a reason to go to like coimbatore or madurai or trichy or or chennai to go and buy these things you should look at uh, you know before the shop opens like for example in tinagar tyagarajanagar if you look at the shops like nalli and other uh, saravana silks and all these places you should look at them before they open the shop there will be like 100 people wanting to run in as if they are giving something free when you go in when the shop opens that is the kind of demand there is this is for you know wedding materials and things like that but as far as gold is concerned you will not find gold jewelry shops 
you know, scattered all over Tamil Nadu. But also to be fair, sir, Kerala is a very small sliver of land. There's one national highway, the civilization works. Mm-hmm. What is the biggest width between the ocean and the Western Ghats, Mohandas Ji? 100 kilometers? 150 kilometers? No, sir, 75. 75. So 75. that is the thing. That Shortest is, the thing. is 35 and longest is the 75. Yeah. That is the thing. It's it's just very, very small. So it's like a storm in a teacup. A lot of the stuff happens there. That's why it doesn't come out also. You know, for for the rest of the country, Kerala is God's own country. They may go there to go to Kovalam or to Kochi to attend a conference. But beyond that, people don't really take in what the customs are, what the culture is, how much money has come in. Whoever figured out this fake currency to be brought in through Kochi was a very, very clever person. Said, we can always move under the radar in in Kerala. That is my take on it. Sir, if let us say the government again announces demonetization and says 500s go, 2000s go, 200 is the biggest currency. Do you think things will change? I don't think so. I don't Why? think so because you know, as far as smuggling is uh, concerned, uh, they are not paying currency. They they are using some other path. Now only that is why I said this Joe Alaka's problem is only part of the problem. He has done some Havala business. Nothing new uh, in Havala. So, uh, but you don't need this uh, Havala. Actual cash transaction is not taking place. They are uh, adopting some other method which is which has uh, yet to come out. Because they know this uh, demonetization uh, Modi administration is damn serious about that. What if they demonetize 500 notes also? This question was asked by all these boons on the same day in which uh, Modi announced demonetization. Are ab kya hoga? Ab ye 500 withdraw kiya to kya karayenge? This question was answered by them. They have made elaborate arrangement how to circumvent this operation. And that is why uh, they are more concentrating on gold than anything else. Because they get huge margin in uh, transferring gold. margin If you want to increase, you can increase again. What is there? But uh, this time, you, you know, uh, let me tell you now, People are worried about uh, Khalistan in Punjab. Is it not really? The whole nation is worried about that. But uh, what about uh, Manipur and Nagaland? There are some serious issues taking place. Everybody feels, Are wo kya hai, bahut chota hai, 35 kilometer hai, aadha kilometer hai, kuch nahi hoga. Are kuch nahi ho, dekho wahan kya hone wala hai. This is just like in Kerala. Kerala is a border state, you know. Merely because C is the border, you cannot uh, call it a non-border state. It is a border state. C is much more porous than land. So the more you ignore Kerala, the more it will become a Pandora's box, a smoldering volcano, and one day it is going to explode in disproportionate uh, devastating consequences. A small place is sufficient to create big uh, explosion and Kerala has that much area and capability also. You see all uh, terrorist activities now there are no explosions but so many terrorists have been caught in the uh, UP, Maharashtra uh, everywhere. You will see a Kerala connection either it is funded from Kerala or people have gone from Kerala or equipments have been supplied by Kerala. Something uh, without Kerala contribution no terrorist activity takes place in India. And you still feel that Kerala is so small. Kya karega? Aisa nahi hai. It's, it's a very important thing what is happening in Kerala. People can, be, people can still sleep in Delhi without caring for Kerala. But one day Kerala will draw your attention and that will be a doomsday. I don't know. Somebody has made an interesting observation that by reducing customs duty on gold, RBA says maximum foreign currency is consumed in buying the gold after crude oil imports. Your thoughts, sir? I see everybody has to uh, balance these things. You know, your foreign currency reserve, your customs duty, all these are 
interrelated. It is basic of economics. You see, what is that uh, people want? They want higher price for paddy, lower price for uh, rice, higher price for coconut, lower price for coconut oil, higher price for rubber, lower price for your chapel. So a government, it is duty of the government to balance the producer and the consumer everywhere. So you will lose certain uh, uh, foreign currency by reducing the duties. But still, you can stop this evasion and get a more amount of duty. That, that is also an economic principle. You reduce the tax and bring more people under the tax net. Automatically, people will come under the tax net. Suppose every citizen will have to pay only one rupee per year as tax. 140 crores will pay tax. Everybody will pay one rupee by the government. So reducing the tax also has certain benefits. It is not that you will lose revenue. Probably it may increase revenue. That is what Dr. Subramanian Swami says that you do away with this uh, personal income tax and see the country prospers very well. Because the purchasing power increases for the middle class. So entrepreneurship will be there, purchasing power will increase. So many benefits are there. But like in some local say, oh no, the income tax revenue will go down. Well, it will go down, but you will get it through some other method. These are all uh, economic uh, common sense principles which everybody, can, uh, every country adopts. And we feel that something, uh, the conventional method, originally the Russia, Europe mixed uh, method, that is the final. And we need to not change it. A change ki ato garbad ho jayega. There was a superstition, you know, world over, whosoever has uh, implemented demonetization, that man has never came back to power. This was the superstition. Articles were written on the superstition. And Modi proved otherwise. He said, okay, dekha jayega. And he came back again. It was a record in the history. I, I went through Google uh, so many things. And I found that there is substance in what they are saying. Because so many countries, those who have, those who have done demonetization, the uh, president or prime minister, whosoever did that, he has never come back. Never come back. Except Narendra Modi. Take certain, some bold decisions. Let us see if there is a course correction required. Okay, let us correct it. What is there? After all, uh, Economics is not a static thing. It should not be static. It must be dynamic. Every day it must change. Like what your gas prices are changing every day. Um, petrol prices are changing every day. You feel a little bit old, but it is changing. And you are accustomed to it now. Um, yes, let's sir. have some questions, please. Murali wants to know, Kerala is always showcased as God's own country, but why no development has happened since the 1980s? I know, see, <laughs> it's a forgot conclusion that Kerala is not industrial friendly. Kerala is not business friendly. Whatsoever, whichsoever politician may tell you otherwise, this is the truth that it is very difficult to sustain a business in Kerala. Now, you know... Really? Uh, yes, tell me. My, my layman observation, having driven through Kerala a few times, Murli, every 30 kilometers along this one national highway, you'll see a small pandal and there'll be 10 chairs and there'll be one person speaking. Any day of the week, 365 days a year, there'll be always somebody speaking there's something going on. Kerala loves politics like nobody else, but they, you know, nothing happened. There's no time for work. <laughs> there, that's my take on it. No, Kerala need not work also because a good percentage of Keralaites have gone to Gulf and uh, Europe and they are sending regularly money. So that's why it is called a money order economy. Very few people <laughs> work for their uh, living. <laughs> All others are, uh, I mean, they are sucking blood of their family members who are toiling outside Kerala, outside the state and outside the country also. Outside the state also, you see, 
how many uh, malayalis are there in gujarat the most hated place in uh, in the world for a malayali is gujarat there are 12 lakhs keralaites doing business doing jobs in uh, gujarat 12 lakh in gujarat only so uh, what is that we are talking about uh, see most of the kerala is uh, easy going uh, they are uh, there are bars everywhere and beverage uh, liquor outlets everywhere the numbers are increasing one day it will uh, equal or uh, their numbers will be more than the jewelry what we see i told you now uh, eight jewelry is in a kilometer but only one liquor outlet now tomorrow there will be 80 liquor out, uh, outlets and hardly 50 uh, jewelries this could uh, change that is the way kerala is progressing now liquor has become out of fashion mdma or what do they call the drugs mm. they uh, right on tv it is mdma i don't know what is that but uh, that has uh, replaced the liquor now people drinking liquor is uh, slowly going down and down old people like me are uh, drinking now young generation has uh, shifted to fast uh, uh um, numbers like uh, drug mdma and some some white powder so many things are being used so kerala is progressing uh, in that direction and uh, liquor shops may uh, subsequently close because nobody wants liquor everybody wants uh, mdma this may also uh, happen but one thing i am sure that kerala is not going to do any honest job and make uh, earnings if somebody is doing that hats off to him let uh, god protect him there could be a few people still uh, doing honest job and honest business in kerala i know that i appreciate them but uh, i sympathize with them also um saumabrata bhattacharya wants to know is there any connection between vijayan and joya lucas group the joya lucas is a big group they have connection with every politician including pinarayi vijayan everyone they have easy access to the top rank leaders of every political party and i don't think uh, there is uh, some uh, dubious connection between these two uh, nothing of uh, that sort of come out in the public domain as of now next question please um dhi wants to know or dhl i don't know isn't it a fact that smuggling gold will not depreciate the rupee against the dollar i know i'm 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 no expert on that uh, area so i'm not taking that question yeah it's a it's a it's a difficult to answer and correlate the two uh, neta mafia wants to know now with lulu groups yusuf ali's name coming up in swapna suresh's case will congress or bjp in kerala further take up the life mission and gold smuggling scam case yeah, i have not seen the uh, name of yusuf ali anywhere in fact i have seen certain people try to bring him in in social media you know just predicting that next will be yusuf ali or yusuf ali is much smarter than joy alukas etc these are all uh, i mean loose comments apart from that uh, yusuf ali uh, till today his business and he are intact uh, running everything anki dori as of now the, there is nothing to believe that uh, he is uh, involved in uh, some or other with any wrongful activities uh, next question mike k80es uh what about the gold donated to temples in kerala is there any accountability is being used for public good temples in kerala are managed by communists <laughs> you 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 are uh, uh, answer is there in your question itself see public donate to uh, temple whatever gold they can afford and we leave at that jo bhi hota hai hone do मेरा काम तो हो गया मुझे भगवान को ये देना था मैंने दे दिया उसके बाद क्या होता है मेरा काम नहीं है 
this is the way devotees behave so there are people who feel that ye mera kaam hai ab ye gold aaya hai i can swindle this they are swindling it if the devotees are not worried then uh, who will take care of temple gold bhagwan ko to koi ye nahi chahiye you and me know very well that no god needs any jewelry or any gold whatsoever it's all a human being uh, needs that so if you deposit your gold in the temple and then uh, come out and cry there is now, uh, now uh, let me tell you uh, travancur uh, dev sam board has been audited only up to 2015 16 financially after that uh, auditing has not taken place what is that you are going to do i am mad because i am running after that for getting the audit report i have to pay 2800 rupees if it is one click away they can upload it in their website but they will not do they will say that you come through uh, right to information act i went through right to information act then they said there are 1400 pages per page you have to pay 2 rupees i said okay low bhai at 2800 and they gave me a big punch 2015 16 iske baad abhi auditing nahi hua hai in travel question is little bit uh, question there is more is little bit advance they have done it up to 2017 18 yes sir um i i guess this is deliberate people are not wanting to get themselves audited that means essentially a stealing is going on next question please um suresh kumar puppala uh, this will be the last or last but one question one more and then we are done what about kerala textbook slowly turning anti hindu or tending towards pakistani books uh, no, that is that is a wild allegation uh, definitely there are uh, anti hindu uh, i mean narrative in kerala textbooks but uh, they have not gone to the extent of supporting uh, pakistan now anti hindu narrative was uh, some legacy which we carried from jawaharlal nehru days and we are still carrying it and uh, when uh, prakash javdekar was inb minister or a charity minister he proudly said i have not changed even a word or syllable in uh, cbc syllabus we have not changed any oh, that was a great thing oh, well <laughs> goodbye to correcting your uh, textbooks thank you well that was the last question and viewers there is going to be a twitter spaces ses session in about uh, one hour or so if you are on twitter you will be able to and if you follow p gurus one or sri ayer one you will get it on your uh, timeline if not go to the website go to these timelines sri ayer one or p gurus one and you will see it pinned at the very top please click on it join it i don't know mohandas ji if you have the time uh, you also do a lot of hosting on spaces uh if you could just come in because there are a lot more yeah, yeah, definitely i'll come i'll come yeah this fake currency is a bigger problem than what i have depicted in my book sir it's a much bigger problem much much bigger problem what india has gone through and come out is a miracle and and some of the regional parties don't have a foot to stand on when you look at the kind of things that they have done anyway we don't want to hold you up too much thank you so much and mohandas ji and hope to see you very soon See you all in Twitter Spaces. Namaskar. Namaskar.